Oh dear, the thought of losing one of our beloved planets was a difficult one to bear back in August of 2006 when the International Astronomical Union, or the IAU, demoted Pluto to a dwarf planet. So before we continue to blame our country's foremost science educator, Neil deGrasse Tyson, let's find out what are the factors that led to Pluto's demotion. In order for a celestial body to be considered a planet, it must meet certain criteria put forth by the aforementioned IAU. Number one, does it orbit around the sun? When we look at Pluto, we see that it indeed does orbit around the sun. Number two, does it have sufficient mass to assume hydrostatic equilibrium? In other words, does it have a nearly round shape? Pluto does indeed meet this second criteria. And number three, has it cleared the neighborhood around its orbit? And this is where Pluto fails to meet the standard. What this means is in that billions of years that Pluto has been in existence, it has not developed a gravitational pull to clear its area of anything other than its five moons. For example, early on in Earth's development, there was plenty of debris from asteroids, meteors, even pieces of the Earth after a rogue planet ran into it. However, after millions of years, Earth's gravitational pull was so powerful that any object smaller than the moon was either dragged down onto Earth's surface or was compelled by gravity to be flung away outside of Earth's gravitational field. So, basically, Pluto isn't big enough to produce the needed gravitational pull. To give you a size comparison, our smallest planet, Mercury, is 3,022 miles in diameter. In comparison, Pluto has a diameter of only 1,466, which is actually smaller than the Earth's moon. Oh, don't fret, Pluto fans. While it isn't a big league planet, it is considered a dwarf planet. So when you bet your friend that Pluto is still a planet, bet big because technically you are correct. Okay, until next time, toodly-hoo!